State News reporter Devon Reynolds has been following this story since October, and he's digging up more specifics on exactly what was inside that home. Devon, good evening. Well, Eric, good evening. I'm here outside of Richmond Animal Care and Control. When, listen, authorities removed those animals from that home back in September. Then the Jernigan family was charged with dozens of counts of animal cruelty back in November. And these documents in my hand detail exactly why. Details that also confirm the worst fears of one neighbor I talked to. We obviously never wanted to see another animal end up in that house. So. Everybody was watching. Susan Trout, who lives on Wayne Fleet Drive, reacting to the people she once called her neighbors, now being charged with animal cruelty. There were always suspicions that there was something off about the house, something wrong. This video taken by a resident on Wayne Fleet Drive in October shows authorities in hazmat suits saving the lives of almost 60 animals. It still bothers me to think that they suffered that much. According to the search warrants executed by Richmond Animal Care and Control, Upon entering the home in October, officers say there was a noxious odor and upwards of eight inches of feces piled up on the floor. I have animals myself. To know there were that many animals suffering across the street um, just broke my heart. Court documents reveal details that are even more disturbing, documenting that during a welfare check back on September 29th, homeowner Jim Jernigan admitted there was a cat inside that had been hit by a car and then partially eaten by another animal. And documents indicate a history of animal problems at the Jernigan home. In 2004, animal care and control officers seized animals from the home after receiving calls about hoarding there. Now, Jim, Brittany, and Lucinda Jernigan are all charged with animal cruelty, including torture. Trout hopes it doesn't stop here. I push for the city to follow through with concerns and follow through with um, the process of condemning a house and following through with the animals. Um, so that would be my um, main plea going forward, I guess. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, and more charges could potentially come in this scenario. Stay with 8 News for more on this developing story. For now, live in Richmond, Damon Reynolds, 8 News.